If you're in your first microeconomics class, you're gonna learn about producer surplus. Here's what you actually gotta know about it. First, you gotta understand it on an individual scale, and then the producer surplus triangle on the graph will make more sense. Hey, and before we get started here, if you need somebody to just walk you through this entire class in simple language, go check out my microeconomics cram kit on my site. It's got all the concepts and practice problems that I'd walk through with you if I were your tutor. All right, so here's your typical supply and demand graphs. Let's first understand producer surplus on an individual scale. Let's Let's say you run a hot dog stand and your willingness to sell occurs right here. You're willing to sell one hot dog at two bucks. But the overall market equilibrium price occurs right here. The market is operating at a five dollar equilibrium price. In other words, you as an individual producer are able to achieve three dollars of producer surplus by selling your hot dogs. Because you're willing to sell them for two bucks, but the market's willing to pay you five bucks. So you benefit three extra dollars by selling hot dogs. When we zoom out here, this whole supply curve right here represents all of the producers in the market and all of their willingness to sell. And just to be clear here, any producer below this equilibrium price is gonna sell in the market because their willingness to sell value will be lower than the equilibrium price and in turn, they'll benefit from selling. They'll achieve producer surplus. But any producers in this upper half of the supply curve won't be selling in the market because their willingness to sell is above the equilibrium price, so they'd be taking a loss if they were to sell in the market. And in turn, they won't participate. All right, so with that considered, I'm gonna go ahead and erase our individual point right here so that we can start to understand what the producer surplus triangle looks like. Before we get to that, we gotta understand what this minimum willingness to sell price is. Let's say it's $1. Conceptually, this is the one producer who's willing to sell a hot dog for the lowest price. And they're gonna determine the height of our producer surplus triangle. From here, we're able to visualize the producer surplus triangle right here. This represents all producers who are willing to sell a hot dog at a price equal to or below the equilibrium. And if we wanted to calculate the actual dollar value of this total producer surplus, it's just the area of a triangle. So one half times base up, oh, I forgot to assign an equilibrium quantity. Let's say the equilibrium quantity here is 50 units. So we'd say one half times 50 units times our height, so five minus one, so four bucks. And when we solve this out, we get a producer surplus of 100 bucks in this market. All right, I hope that helped clear up what producer surplus is and how it's different from consumer surplus. And remember, if you need somebody to just help you through the rest of the semester, I'm here for you. I spent years building this microeconomics cram kit to basically teach you everything you need to know in the shortest amount of time. This class isn't rocket science, and I'm, I'm sure you know that. It just gets easily complicated, and my goal is to clear it up and keep it simple. So if that's something that you'd benefit from, I'm here for you.